there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and welcome back if you've practiced with me before. Today's class is part of a new mindful movement series and these classes are designed to be meditative flows that combine breath, movement and mindfulness techniques to counteract a, an overactive mind and hopefully lead you toward a place of calm and presence. Each class begins with a short meditation to establish an anchor for your attention and then we flow uh, vinyasa style movement and breath. This particular class is a 45 minute slow flow and for practice you may wish to have a block although it's not essential and a folded blanket for comfort. Thanks so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoy. Namaste. And begin your practice in a comfortable upright posture, taking the support of a blanket or a cushion under your seat so you can lift tall through the torso without any over effort. Take a gentle roll through the shoulders. And perhaps loosen into your neck, dropping your head side to side. And then just find centre, softly shutting down the eyes or just softening your gaze here. In this practice, we'll use our breath as an anchor, a place you can rest and settle your mind. Make contact with your breath now without adjusting or changing its quality, simply noticing your breath. Feel its touch through your nostrils, the cool stream on your inhale, the warmth of your exhale. Very gradually now, sip a little more air in and breathe an equal breath out. Start to sense your breath animating your torso, fanning your ribs, aerating your lungs, broadening, deflating your upper body. Simply paying attention, breathing deliberately. And this is your home base for practice. Your breath, more than the mind, more than the body, will have the most direct impact on your nervous system and how you feel, leading you into a state of restful alertness. Return to it any time your mind may wander from your present moment experience. Take three more deep, full breaths. And as you breathe out, drop your head toward your heart eyes to the back of your eyelids, softly blinking the eyes open, lifting your gaze. From here we'll transition into a kneeling position at the back of our mats. Feel free to find an alternative for your legs if your knees are not comfortable folding deeply or take a prop under your buttocks to elevate your seat. Resting your hands to prayer at your heart centre and we'll just start by linking our movement with breath Breathe some space into the torso and the shoulders. On your breath in, cactus your arms, open your chest. And on your exhale, just give yourself a hug, right arm over the left, catch your shoulders and round in. Again, inhale, cactus the arms. And exhale, left arm over the right, curl in. Twice more with your breath.
on your in breath, reach your arms overhead, and on your out breath, arms forward at shoulder height. Flip the palms out, take your right hand on top of your left now, link your fingers and make a fist. Breathing in. On your exhale, roll your wrists toward your chest and bow in. Inhale, keep the hands together, unravel the arms, send them forward and then overhead, big stretch up. And then exhale, wind the hands back toward you, chin toward your chest. Once more now, inhale, arms spiral up. And exhale, fill in. On your in-breath, unravel your arms, take them overhead and raise your hips. Take a big stretch up. And on your exhale, release your hands to the floor, onto all fours, into tabletop. We'll keep it flowing, manoeuvring through cat and cow. Feel your hands into the mat. Inhale, belly drops, chest lifts. Tuck your chin to chest and then curl in. Two more rounds in each direction here. Loosening up through the pelvis and the spine. And just moving at the pace of your deepest breath. As you feel yourself breathe out, Round back into your version of child's pose, taking your seat to your heels. Reach and extend your arms forward, drawing length into the sides of your waist, spreading all your fingers, anchoring your hands. On your next breath in, glide up onto all fours. And on your exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, raise your hips. And just pause here for a few slow breaths, pedaling your heels. And then just steady your shape. Feel now just the movement of your breath. Next breath in, ripple forward to your high plank and just pause, squeezing your hands toward your navel, shoulders toward your tailbone so your body gets long and strong. On your exhale, a half flow, bend the knees to a hover, pike the hips high, return, downward facing dog. Once more with your breath now, half flow, breathe yourself forward, high push up. Breathe yourself back, downward facing dog. Final flow, full vinyasa, high plank on your in breath. And then take the knees to the floor and lower to your belly. Walk your fingertips off the side edges of your mat, little forward of your shoulders, elbows point up. On your in breath, low cobra, just feeding your chest forward and up. Exhale, melt down. Twice more with your breath now. On your exhale, place your hands by your lowest ribs, press back on all fours, and then back to a child's pose. Here to transition, emptying your lungs. On your inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog. And we'll take the heat out of the hands. Just take a light bend in your knees, looking forward. End of your exhale. Make your way to the top of your mat. Place your feet hips width apart for an easy forward fold, soft knees. And just hold onto the frame of your elbows. Dangle here, feeling the heaviness of gravity drawing your head down toward the floor. Make contact with your breath, feeling sensation of your feet on the mat. 
Investing your full in- a full attention there, each transition, each pause, an opportunity to sharpen your focus and direct your energy. And let your arms hang loose to the floor now, and then just sip a slow breath in, gently rising all the way to stand, sweeping the arms overhead. Draw your hands down to your heart centre. Two half sun salutes now, slow and steady. Breathing in, sweep the arms overhead. Breathing out, forward fold. Inhale, take your halfway lift. And exhale, fold in. Rise up, sweep up on your in-breath. And exhale, hands to prayer at your heart. One more round. Arms overhead, high mountain pose. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, release. Inhale, rise up. Breathe up to the edge of your fingers. And exhale, lower your hands. Prayer to your heart centre. We're going to start with some movements to familiarise yourself with some shapes. We'll come back to in our flow. And you may wish to have a block off the top edge of your mat to elevate the floor to meet your hands. If you're taking that option, place the block in front of your right foot. Feet hips apart and just standing tall. From here, go ahead, lift your left foot and hover it just above the mat. And take the back of your left hand to the low back. Right arm reaches high alongside your right ear. Breathing in, left hand feels out the low back. On your exhale, bend your right knee, hinge your hips forward, raise the left leg. Right arm forward and down to tap the block or floor. Inhale, rise back up to standing. Left heel hovers. Right arm reaches. And then exhale, tilt the pelvis. Right fingertips reach down for the block or the floor. Left leg floats back. With your inhale, rise up. Once more now. On your exhale, forward tilt, little bend in your right knee, especially if you feel like your right hamstring's blocking your pelvis from moving. And then inhale, rise. And exhale, release. Shake the legs and we'll switch sides. If you're not using the block here, just try and pick a bullseye spot on the floor so you can really harness your focus or take the block now to the floor ahead of your left foot. Standing tall, right hand now to your low back, left arm reaches up, right foot hovers, breathing in. Exhale, tilt the hips, sweep your right leg back, tap down. Inhale, rise, reaching up, and exhale, tilt, And tap, just lightly tapping the floor of the block. Last one now. Rising all the way up. And then the right foot down, left hand comes down, reset. Mountain pose. We'll add on from here. Breathing in, arms sweep overhead. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, take a halfway lift, find length. Just pause there, go to the fingertips or the block. Bend into your right knee and extend your left leg back to balance in a grounded warrior three pose. Firm your left heel straight back, gather your abdominals in so your low back feels full. Breathing 
You can keep your fingertips on the floor here or exhale, hands to prayer. Breath and movement now, inhale. Exhale, straighten your right leg. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, straighten and lift. Last one, inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Then take your right hand to your low back, left hand to the belly, and come all the way back up to stand. Take a few breaths, staying present. Each moment's new, just reset, a few balances off. Second side, breathing in, arms overhead. Exhale and forward fold. Inhale, take your halfway lift. Fingertips stay down here. Exhale, bend the left knee. Send the right leg back now. Supported warrior three. Breathing in. Fingertips stay grounded or exhale, hands to prayer and balance. Take another breath. Exhale, straighten your left leg. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Then left hand to your low back, right hand to your belly. Rise back up to stand. Mountain pose. Just pause, shake out the legs if you need to. Go ahead, step the toes together, top of the mat, big toes to touch. Next breath in, coming into chair pose. Exhale and forward fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, step back through vinyasa. High to low push up. Back bend of your choice. Upward dog or cobra. And downward facing dog. Five to eight breath. Just mindfully cultivating a supportive breath. Longer exhale if your breath feels short. A deeper inhale. Slow and steady now. Inhale, float the right leg up and back. On your exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Stay here, inhale, raise the left heel high. On your exhale, lower your heel toward the floor. Inhale, straighten and square your hips. On your exhale, right foot forward to warrior two. No rush. Rise on up with your in-breath, settle in on your out-breath. Firm into your right heel, anchor your left heel. Take a deep breath in and then exhale, sit a little deeper into the pose. Keep the legs strong, light and tall through the spine, deepen your breath. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle pose, either right forearm, right thigh, or right fingertips to the floor. Left arm reaches high. Inhale here. On your exhale, take a half bind. See if you can snag the left fingertips inside the right hip. And you're using the bind there to keep the left shoulder rolling open. The left chest bright. Release the bind, send the left arm up toward the sky. Next breath in, reverse your warrior and in this version take the left arm forward, take your right arm back and then on your exhale, side angle pose, switch the arms, left arm reaches overhead, right arm reaches back toward your left hip. Let's move with our breath. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle pose. Breathe in, reverse. And this exhale, return to your warrior two. 
On your inhale, straighten your right leg, preparing for triangle. On your exhale, reach out and down over your right leg, left arm to the sky. Pause here. Let the back of your right leg breathe. Make contact with your steady breath. See if you can spot the left thumb as you gaze up. Take the left arm overhead now. Little bend in your right knee, eyes down, hands down, coming into low lunge. Settle the left knee down, arms rise when you're steady. Here for three, steady breathe. And as you feel yourself breathe out, Ada Hanuman, the half splits, fingertips under the shoulders, straighten out through your right leg, flex your toes. And rolling forward onto your right foot, plant your hands, stepping back, downward facing dog. Just loosen, soften your jaw when you arrive. Let your head hang heavy. Maintaining an interest in your own participation, your body as it moves in space, the quality of your breath. Second side now, inhale, raise the left leg up and back. On your exhale, bend the knee, open your hip. Inhale, raise the right heel. Exhale, right heel down. Inhale, square your hips. Left leg reaches straight back. On your exhale, warrior two. Left foot steps up between the hands. Right heel flat. Rise on your in-breath. And settle in on your out breath. Try and keep a cave in the arch of your right foot. And then as you feel yourself breathe out, just go as low into the lunge as your back arch can stay lifted. Take two more cycles of breath. Deep breath in. Exhale, extended side angle, right arm straight up toward the ceiling, finding your version of the shape that allows you to breathe a deep breath. Inhale here. Exhale, find your half bind, right hand either to the small of your back or tuck it around and find your inner left thigh. Send your right collarbone back in space and try and keep lengthening both sides of your waist long over your left thigh. Release your bind, right arm reaches up and flow, breathing in, reverse warrior, right arm forward in front of your body, left arm reaches up and back, exhale, side angle, this time left arm goes back, right arm forward, inhale, reverse and exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. And this exhale, return to your warrior two. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Perhaps shorten your stride if you need to. On your exhale, moving into your triangle pose. Two straight legs or a little micro bend in the left knee. Feel the spread of energy wide across your chest. As you widen your palms away from one another, feel the inner thighs lift toward your pelvis as you push down into your feet. Breathe in here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Frame out your left foot. Low lunge when you're steady. When you're ready, reach the arms. And on your exhale, half splits, fingertips to the floor, motion the hips back, straightening out through your left leg, left toes flex back 
toward your shin, front of the spine long. Breathing in. Exhale, lunge forward into the left foot, stepping quietly back, downward facing dog. And we'll take a vinyasa, rippling forward, high push up on your inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, just slow your movement down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause and rest, five breaths. Bringing a consistency of mindfulness to each breath. It's finding your steady cadence. Next breath in, bend both knees. Exhale, travel forward, front of the mat. Open and fold with your breath. Inhale, rise, arms sweep overhead, breathing out, prayer hands to your heart. And we're going to put it all together in a flow now with a small addition of eagle pose, just movement with breath. On your inhale, chair pose, bend the knees, hips sit low, take another breath in, reach tall, exhale, take your arms out wide. Going to balance on our right foot, lift your left leg, wrap it for eagle pose over the right, right arm over the left to bind the arms, inhale lift the elbows up and forward, exhale lean your upper body back and sit low, on your inhale rise to stand on your right leg, elevate your left knee, on your exhale we're going to tip forward warrior three, Sweep your left leg back, breathing in, exhale, land lightly, warrior two, arms open wide, just get grounded, breathe in here, exhale, side angle with the funky arms, inhale, reverse, and as you go, straighten your right leg. On your exhale, triangle pose. Take the left arm, reach it forward. Breathe a long breath in. And exhale, hands to the floor for your low lunge. Land your left knee softly, arms rise up. And exhale, fingertips to the floor, Ardha Hanuman. Half splits. Inhale, lunge forward, plant the hands, stepping back, downward facing dog. Pause and rest or option to take a vinyasa from here. We'll all meet up in downward facing dog. Savoring the transitions, pauses between your breath as you move. And second side coming up, on your breath in, bend both knees, heavy hands, exhale, hop or step, top of the mat, open and fold with your breath, and come to stand with the wave of your in-breath, and exhale, pause, hands to your heart. Next breath in, chair pose, sit low, stay for your out breath, breathe deeply in, and exhale, eagle pose, arms wide, balance on your left foot, right leg wraps over, left arm on top now, breathe in, and breathe out, hug it in toward the midline, inhale, unwrap the legs, stand and hover your right knee. On your exhale, warrior three, right leg goes back, arms reach forward, take a breath in, exhale, warrior two, right foot lands down lightly, ground your feet, arms open wide into a T, take another breath in, exhale, extended side angle, 
Breathe in, reverse your warrior. As you go, straighten your left leg. On your exhale, Trikonasana. Right arm reaches up, stacking the shoulders. Breathing in, right arm extends out overhead. Eyes down, land the hands, come into your low lunge. Right knee to the floor, breathe your arms overhead. And exhale, Ada Hanumanasana, half splits, left toes flexed. Inhale, lunge forward. Plant the hands, exhale, downward facing dog. And either rest or take a flow, and we'll all meet up in downward facing dog. On your inhale, knees bend. On your exhale, travel to the top edge of your mat. On your inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale and fold in. Breathe in, rise. And exhale, mountain pose. We've got one more round, right and left, moving with your breath. Toes step together, inhale, chair pose. Stay for your exhale. Another deep breath in. Arms go wide, balance on your right foot, eagle pose. Left leg over, right arm over. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, squeeze your legs, sit back. On your inhale, unwind, single leg mountain, left knee lifts. Exhale, warrior three. Stay for your in-breath. Land, warrior two, on your out-breath. Breathing in. On your exhale, extended side angle. On your inhale, reverse. Straighten your right leg as you go. Exhale, triangle pose. And just float the right arm overhead as you feel yourself breathe out, land the hands to the floor, low lunge. Breathe in, just for a beat, arms go up. On your exhale, half splits. Inhale, lunge forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Final side here, breathing in, looking forward, end of your exhale, step or hop, top of the mat, breathe in, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale and fold Uttanasana, inhale come to stand, exhale prayer hands to your heart centre. Toes step together, next breath in, chair pose, sit low on your exhale. Balancing on your left foot now, breathe in. Arms go wide, eagle pose, right leg over, right arm under, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, one leg mountain, right leg floats, arms reach up. Warrior three. Stay for your in-breath. On your exhale, land your right foot, warrior two. Flowing with your breath. Breathing in. Exhale, extended side angle. Breathe in, reverse your warrior. Two straight legs here, preparing for triangle. Take your top arm overhead, reach out and then hands to the floor, low lunge. Right knee to the floor, arm sweeper. On your exhale, half splits just for a beat. Lunge forward lightly, step back quietly, downward facing dog. 
Just pause and rest. Steady your breath. Digest and feel the warmth you've created. Breathe and circulate it all the way around your body. And in your own time, just settle the knees wide to the floor, to the side edges of your mat, buttocks to your heels, coming into child's pose. Just softly bowing in. And just a chance to reinflate the back of your lungs with your breath. Opportunity to soften and release your effort now through your shoulders and your belly. And just taking the next few breaths to ease your way up. Slip your feet around in front of you. And from here we'll move into two rounds of bridge pose, a final twist and hip opener. So just collecting any props or layers that you might like to have and settle back onto your mat, reclined. When you arrive, just gathering your knees in toward your chest. And then from here, placing your feet to the floor, hips width apart or a little wider. Feet parallel and walk your heels in toward your buttocks. You can just lightly brush your heels with your fingertips there. Breathing in. On your exhale, lifting into your bridge. You might like to start here with a lower bridge. Just pause for a few breaths finding comfort and extension in your low back, a light engagement in the base of your glutes, tailbone extends long toward the back of your knees, take three more smooth breath in and out. On your out breath, releasing down toward the floor. And then from here, just feel free to adjust your feet closer toward your buttocks. If you sense you've got more room to grow in the next back bend, or walk them away if you need a little bit more space. Arms alongside your body, breathing in. Lifting on your exhale into your bridge. Option to interlace your hands under your body or your fingertips can hold the side edges of the mat. It just gives you an opportunity to narrow the shoulder blades, exaggerate that opening across your chest. and something to hang on to as well. As you linger here, just check in, feel the support of your feet, your big toes firmly pressing the ground away. Feel the support of your shoulders, back of your skull. One more deep breath in. And exhale, release. Spread your upper back and gently lower, taking your knees in toward your chest. Press and massage your low back spine into the mat. Take our left foot to the floor now, setting up for a reclined hip opener, figure four. Set your right ankle to the top of your left knee and then hug your left thigh back, threading your hands to hold the back of your thigh. So you're creating just a little bit of resistance to emphasize that outer hip opening. Can you find a little trough in your low back spine? As you send the back of your left thigh into your hands, same time drawing the front of your shoulder heads back. And then one more breath. On your exhale, foot to the floor, wrap your right leg over your left, preparing to twist. Just lift the hips, shift them 
to your right a smidge, knees to your left, and just rest into your twist. If it doesn't feel restful, just unwrap the legs, stack the knees, just take the arms wide here, complete the twist through your upper spine, eyes turn away from your knees. Breathing in, exhale, tone your belly coming back to centre and we'll switch right foot to the floor for your figure four outer hip stretch, left ankle top of the right knee, taking five slow breaths. Making your way into your twist when you're ready. Left leg wraps over your right. Hips to your left and knees fall to your right. Just shuffle and settle in. Invite your shoulder blades to relax and settle down the spine. Just take the next few breaths to really savour your twist. Relax your legs heavy. Feeling all the sensations through the left side. And just send your breath toward them. Next out breath. Tone your belly as you return back to centre. And from here we'll rest into Shavasana for the last few minutes here of your practice. As you rest back, arrange your legs a little wider than your hips and lay your arms away from the sides of your body. Let your palms open toward the ceiling. Feeling in to your back body your footprint on the mat. Let's take a final moment to smooth and station your body evenly. Feel your connection to the floor, your body open and receptive. And keeping your attention rooted in this moment of pause. Quietly resting for the next couple of minutes.
And gently, softly, begin to breathe a deeper breath. And gently, softly, start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. And just when you're already bending the knees, taking your feet to the floor. And rolling out to your right side. Take a few moments to pause. Let the light in toward you, blinking the eyes open. And then just slowly dragging yourself all the way up to sit. Thanks so much for joining me in your part of the world today. So grateful for your company. Take care. Namaste.